Yes, the Tassie Tiger on a 20 cent coin. This is a centenary of Federation at 20 cent coin. And $2 to $12 is a recent selling price range on these coins. So each state and territory has a different design. And yes, $2 to $12. Let's see if we can find one of those in this roll right here. But I love those coins. And I love Tasmania. How cool is Tasmania? If you've been to Tassie, let me know. Uh, and I'd like to get back there myself and have a bit more of an explore because it is such a beautiful state, natural beauty and uh, cool little towns and stuff like that too. So awesome. Jump on the spirit of Tassie and get down there and have a look around. Let's check these out. Let's see if there's anything in this, uh, this lot of 20 cent coins. 1980s. Ooh, 2008, we check this date for the wave gap. So this little point of wave down here touches the platypus's head, comes in and touches it. Sometimes that point of wave stops a bit further back and there's a gap through there. So some prices on those, $7 to $25 if you can find the 2008 wave gap. Coming home, they made a lot of these coins, so I tend to let them go. 1981, this one could be a Canadian minted coin, although it's quite dirty. So we're looking underneath this two, looking for the left-hand claw being half the size, and it's a bit hard to tell because of all the gunk on the coin. I might just let it go because of the condition of the coin. I could check it under the, the field magnifier, but um, yeah, in that condition, I'll probably just let it go anyway. There's a lot of them out there. Here we go, there's another one here, we might have a chance here. This one could be, there we go. So that there's four claws there, one, two, three, four. And that left-hand one looks like it's half the size, you see that? Although it, if you tilt it under certain lights, I will check that at the end under the field magnifier. So I'll put it down, we'll check these ones out. We'll check that one out too, that's a 1981. So we can see if that's a Canadian minted coin as well. 2008, we'll see for the wave gap, no wave gap there. So we've got these two coins. We'll get the field magnifier, this is it here. Uh, and one at a time, I'll turn this other light off so we can see what we need to see. And we move it around so the light's shining in the right direction. And yeah, we are looking at this section through here, looking for that left-hand claw. It looks like it's half the size to me. So that one looks like a Canadian minted coin. We'll check this one out here too. So get that light onto it. That one could be going all the way up that left-hand side, so. Oh, no, it might be, half, might be halfway. See that there? Looks like it's just half the size compared to the other ones that are full size. Just keep moving the light around. It's good to check it under all light conditions. There we go, about halfway. Oh, it sort of looks like it's creeping up a little bit. <laughs> What's going on there? So we might have two of the Canadian minted 1981 three and a half claws. Let's check it out on the list here. 1981 three and a half claw, $2 to $99. So one in perfect condition, 99 bucks. Uh, 50 million of those coins were made in Canada in that particular year. So keep an eye out for that. This is the May coin list, the June coin list are coming out on Saturday. So stay tuned for that if you want the latest researched recent selling price range. Cool.